Hi guys, let's get back to our discussion of Jean Gimpel and his fascinating uh, theories about uh, what actually happened in the Middle Ages. Uh, so, like I said in the previous video, you know, the picture of the Middle Ages that, you know, most people have uh, is essentially an Italian Renaissance picture. It's, um, you know, this picture of Middle Ages as being you know, dark, gloomy, and superstitious. Um, and uh, that's actually a myth. And, um, you know, Jean Gimpel really does, uh, you know, give you a different picture, a uh, much more interesting and dynamic picture of the Middle Ages. And, uh, you know, his fascinating thesis is that the Middle Ages, um, that the Industrial Revolution took place in the 12th century. Not in the 19th century England, but uh, in the Middle Ages. Uh, so why? Well, uh, you know, there are several reasons why. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, to, to a great extent, uh, what happened in the Middle Ages was way greater than what happened in the 19th century, uh, believe it or not. Um, you know, people kind of think that, um, you know, in the Middle Ages, it was, you know, dark, uh, you know, kind of superstitious period of time when, you know, not much happened as far as the intellectual life, but that's absolutely not the case. And uh, in his book, The Medieval uh, Machine, uh, Gimpel, you know, gets into more details as to why. Um, so, you know, first of all, these guys... Uh, these monks known as uh, the Cistercians. Um, you can kind of recognize them by their white outfits. Uh, like, I mean, I'm sure other, uh, you know, Catholic, uh, you know, groups also, you know, had white. I mean, they're probably not unique, but, um, you know, you can kind of recognize them, you know, as, uh, you know, wearing these white outfits. You know, that's another Cistercian monk. So what did these uh, Cistercian monks do? And, uh, you know, by the way, they're not as famous as, you know, the famous, uh, you know, Dominicans, for instance. But, you know, these guys were, you know, really, really incredible. And they, uh, you know, to some extent produced an industrial revolution. So what, uh, by the way, what do we mean by an industrial revolution? Well, the industrial revolution... Uh, means, uh, you know, at least in my definition, um, significantly, you know, significantly increasing productivity. Uh, you know, like, for instance, uh, you know, if you could make 100 breads, uh, you know, before the revolution, after the Industrial Revolution, you can, you know, make like 500 loaves of bread in a day. So, you know, it's doubling, tripling, quadrupling, you know, and even you know, tenfold increasing your output. You know, that's, you know, what I mean by revolution. And uh, thanks to these guys, uh, you know, Cistercians, they gave us this. Uh, I mean, they did not invent uh, the windmill, but uh, they built them all over Western Europe, you know. And, uh, you know, this is such a, uh, you know, kind of uh, part uh, of the... Uh, European landscape, you know, it's kind of hard to imagine it without it. Like when you look at these uh, gorgeous uh, Dutch painters, you know, like you see all these, you know, windmills, windmills, windmills. So Cistercians built windmills all over Europe. And uh, as a result, you know, the amount of bread which, uh, you know, could be made increased uh, by at least five times so that's why you know the real um, industrial revolution happened in the middle ages you know because uh you know just uh the increase in food production was you know really really incredible and uh the second uh you know reason um, and it's not the only one is that uh you know during the middle ages one of the most incredible devices ever was built and that is, you know, the mechanical clock. Like, I mean, uh, you know, let me ask you this. Uh, if, 
you know, I give you a workshop, you know, like a mechanics uh, workshop with, you know, some, you know, tools and chainsaws and screws and whatnot. Could you build an engine? Uh, well, it would be difficult, but, you know, I'm pretty sure you could figure it out. You know, like it's just, uh, you know, kind of parts moving back and forth. It's, um, you know, most of it is pretty large. Um, you know, it's not too bad, you know, but, you know, let me ask you this. Could you make a clock? Like, you know, like you've seen a, you know, pocket watch, like, could you make a clock? Like, I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't think I could make a clock, you know, even though I um, work in computer science, you know, I am a software um, developer. I do not think I could make a clock. I mean, it's, you know, clocks are computers of their day and age. And, you know, this 19th century industrial revolution, uh, like intellectually, it was not even close to, uh, you know, what they achieved uh, in the Middle Ages.